Before I can even think about buying a new place, I'll need to sell my current gaff. And when it comes to offloading real estate, first impressions are crucial. Which is why I've packed my entrance hall with an array of gob-befuddling gadgetry to dazzle would-be buyers and draw their attention away from the damp patch in the master bedroom. As well as wearing inexplicably pointy shoes, estate agents always tell us that we need to sell a home and not a house. And, ironically, nothing says home like a house plant. But, and here's the tension, I have a long-standing antipathy towards vegetation, which often leads to a plant's untimely demise. Mercifully, I now have the Parrot Flower Power. It's a sensor that tracks light intensity, air temperature, fertilizer level, and soil moisture, and sends push notifications to my sweet smartphone vis-a-vis -vis upkeep. I've never been so happy. I was in a hurry when I picked up this pad and overlooked the fact that it had more than one window. My cleaning bill soon spiralled out of control, so, of late, I have neglected their upkeep. I need to get the Mac to showroom standard and sharpish. That's why I'm engaging an army of Ecovacs to take care of business. Suction holds the Ecovac windbox in place while Caterpillar tracks manoeuvre them around your glass. The Winbot sense the size of your panes and plan a route accordingly, attacking the surface with a three-step cleaning, squeegeeing and wiping process. I'm literally frozen with excitement. It is vital that my house be tidy before I open the doors to interested parties. This could have been a litany of self-acrimony, but mercy of mercies, I have a boss new shelving unit. It has these piano keys, which allow it to be used as coat hooks or even a bike rack for Betsy's sake. Now, there may be other storage solutions, but who on this green earth has the time to consumer test them? Why, my public panel, of course. Chosen for their abject ordinariness, they have been tasked with assessing the latest in cluster-busting technology. Today, we are going to test space-saving gadgets, which I've secreted in this futuristic, dystopian world, for you to test within an inch of their lives. Are you prepared to do this? Yes. Please do so. Report back with your verdicts and enjoy the snacks. I will see you later. First, a versatile centrepiece that adjusts to changing storage and coffee table needs, allowing my panel to share snacks humanely. Oh, that's very clever. The easy bed easy takes blow up beds to the next level. Oh, oh, oh. God, that's quite Not only does it have a built in pump, it has legs, ensuring a user friendly height. Once unzipped, it will inflate or deflate itself in just two minutes. <laughs> it's quite, quite firm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think it's comfortable. Without wishing to lazily accede to stereotypes, I've chosen the city worker and student to not only examine the bed, but also a drinks cabinet. The feckless pair. My concern is that you need space in order to open it, otherwise you would have to move it from the space that it was currently in to a larger space, and, you know, then you're expending energy and you might be too exhausted to drink at the end. <laughs> Whilst the calories you're burning to drink more. Sure, yes. And for all Britain's retired people and skilled manual workers, another bed with space-saving properties. OK, here we go. <gasps> it is the world's thinnest TV bed, oh, as in the cut. foot of the bed is a mere 140 millimetres. Scared of kicking it when you get into more movable action. To... So your concern is, in a moment of fatigue passion. or rage passion. or passion that you would lose your grip or footing and your extended foot would crash through the flat screen TV. Yes, indeed. Well, that is a legitimate concern. Superb gadgets, without doubt. But which is most superb? You have come to a conclusion. What is your favourite gadget? We have decided on the EZ or EZ bed as being the gadget of the week. Well, a triumph for the EZ bed there. I couldn't be more pleased for it. <laughs>